Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the eTrailer 12 foot long e-track straps with the ratchet and they have a 1,333 pound working load limit and this part is for a quantity of two straps with the nice storage bag. Now these are heavy duty cargo straps. They have the fittings at both ends that secure to the e-track anchor points. Application, this will work with horizontal and vertical e-track and the x-track. And the ratchet straps attach to the slots anywhere along the e-track. Now for this video, I've put a piece of e-track up here and showed you how it attaches, but the e-track is not included. We do sell that separately. Basically, you can attach the straps anywhere any of these slots along the e-track, so it's perfect for securing gear on your trailer walls or even on the floor. Now I did want to zoom in and show you, we're talking about these fittings on each end. You can see this, what the fittings look like. You can see the E-Track fittings have a little lever there that allows you to put it into the opening on the E-Track. So basically all you have to do is just pull up on that lever and that'll allow you to put it in there, drop it into place, and you hear it click in and it's all ready to go. It's connected. And then to take it out, just lift up on that, pull it out just like that. It has sturdy steel attachment points and if you notice they have a nice rust resistant zinc finish to them. Very easy to attach anywhere. <clears throat> now the ratchet mechanism right here, this is a nice sturdy ratchet mechanism. As you can see, it also has the nice rust resistant zinc finish to it. This ratchet makes it very easy to tighten down your strap and it maintains tension on your strap. So you can see just like that as you crank it, it's gonna tighten it up. It has a nice wide handle with a nice hard rubber grip to it. Gives you a good grip even if you have gloves on. And the release lever also has a hard rubber edge to it, and that release lever will disengage your ratchet when you're ready to unload. So right now you can crank it, get it how tight you want it, and then if you pull up on this and you want to unload, or if you're starting to load and you need to freewheel out some strap, put this all the way down 180 degrees just like that. You can see how it's open, and then you can pull out. You can see this strap you can pull out, and it'll freewheel as much as you need. And then when you get ready to tighten it down, pull up on the lever, put it back in the ratchet position, and then just go ahead and tighten it just like that. So very easy to operate. Now the strap on this is a nice two inch wide durable polyester webbing, almost like a seat belt material. It is, the whole strap is bright yellow, so it's very easy to see in day or nighttime. <clears throat> now also on this, zoom out here, this part happens to come with a nice storable or a storage bag. It's a yellow heavy-duty water resistant storage bag for storage and transportation. Now at the end of this video I'm going to show you how these straps will go in the bag but first I want to go over some specs on the straps. The dimensions again they're 12 foot in length, 2 inches wide, maximum load or brake strength is 4,000 pounds per strap but what's more important is you want to make sure of the safe working load limit of the strap and that is always a third of the brake strength so the working load limit on these straps is 1,333 pounds each. And tie-down straps and their accessories are chosen according to that safe working load limit. So basically the weight of your secured cargo must not exceed the combined working load limit of your straps that are going to be used. So just to give an example, if you're using straps that have a working load limit of 500 pounds each and you're tying down a load weighing 1,000 pounds, then you're going to need at least two straps to safely secure that load. And they do usually recommend that you always use straps in pairs. And also on the straps, you'll see these little tags. That'll tell you the working load limit. So you'll always be able to know what the working load limit is right there. Now this is for a quantity of two with a storage bag. We also sell, if you just need to add one, we do sell them as a quantity of one. And that's part number E44PR. And those, that part number is listed on this product page as a related product. So what I want to do now... So we're going to open up the storage bag. It has a nice full-length zipper on it. You can see a very wide opening. Nice durable material, almost like a swimming pool material. So we'll just go ahead and take this as the second one. We'll just put that in there. This one, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and unhook it on this end. We'll go ahead and unhook it on this end. And then basically just sort of wind them up get it all together. I mean you can wind them better than this. I'm just gonna put them all together 
them in that way. There's enough room in the bag, you can just drop it in there. And you'll still have extra room for any more straps if you have extra straps. And then just go ahead and zipper that closed. You have nice two rubber handles on here, very strong straps. So that'll let you carry this around where you need it for transporting it. And then for storage, it's keeping everything together. There's nothing worse than having your one bed ready to look for your straps and they're strung out all over the place. You don't know where they're at. This way they're all right in this bag ready to go. But that should do it for the review on the e-trailer 12 foot long e-track straps with the ratchet in the quantity of two with the storage bag.